Right, Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X for 2023. What is new? After an incredibly, incredibly successful year on tour, there was a lot to build on in 2023. AVX left Ash in 2022, incredibly successful alongside every single major for the men's being won by a Pro V1 or Pro V1X. Over 70% of the players on the PGA Tour use a Titleist golf ball. The new Pro V1 and Pro V1X are said to be better by just a little bit. On the outside of these wonderful golf balls, I can't really see much. The only change is the alignment line has been altered slightly. Don't know why, but that always fills me with joy seeing a slightly different alignment line each iteration. On the inside though, that's the difference. The Pro V1, there is a new high gradient core, which means higher speeds and a lower long game spin. Sounds good, right? For the Pro V1X, is a new high gradient dual core construction. This makes the center of the ball get progressively softer from outside to inside. Again, this is focusing on actually reducing spin in the long game. If you guys aren't familiar with the Pro V1 and Pro V1X, I'm sure you are, but Pro V1X slightly firmer, slightly higher spin, higher launching, whereas the Pro V1 slightly softer, but lower spin. This can pretty much fit anyone's game. I go for the Pro V1, but funnily enough, in this one, I'm leaning towards the Pro V1X, and I'll tell you why. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm so out of breath. The Pro V1 has always been a favorite of mine. The Pro V1X though, I feel like this year it's taken some assets of some other golf balls, such as the left dash, and made it a pretty special golf ball. Will's other Taurus switched to it very quickly, so it was a no-brainer. I feel quite the same. But how different actually is the Pro V1X to the Pro V1? How big of a difference is the data? We're going to talk about the data-driven differences between the 2023 Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. I was fortunate enough to take these wonderful golf balls down to Grey's Golf in the southeast of England on a GC quad and see the differences. I started off with about a 75-yard shot with a little wedge and then went up to a 6-iron from 200 yards and then finished up with the big boy driver. Let's have a look at the little wedges first. So, as you can see by the data here, I hit the Pro V1 a little bit further by about four or five yards, which you would think then the spin would climb up a bit more. But actually, the Pro V1X you can see was spinning by about 400 RPMs more. And just so you know, they are spinning a lot, They're zipping back. 400 RPMs for shots like this is actually quite a lot. And I did notice that on and off the course, a slightly increase in spin, but, that's it, no difference in launching or anything like that. From 75 yards and in, you're going to notice a slight increase in spin, green side spin for the Titleist Pro V1X. How do we fare in the six irons though? Okay, so Let's have a look. In all honesty with the six irons, we can notice here with the data, again, there's a slight difference in that spin rate by about 200 RPMs or so, but this is not that big. And I don't think the spin rates are really that different. I would more focus on here with the six iron, the firmness of either golf ball. I can notice a big difference here with the softness of the Pro V1 compared to the firmness of the Titleist Pro V1X. Apart from that though, it looked like they had pretty similar results across the board. High smash factor, good performance, a good golf ball. The driver though, was interesting. <laughs> So the big stick I was not hitting very well on this day, but what I did find quite interesting is there were some 
different numbers. You could instantly look at that spin rate and see it's about 200 RPM different. I would say again, similar to the six iron, not that big of a difference. I think on another day, it could even be about 100 RPM. You can see here that the launch angle is quite a bit different. I did find the Pro V1X launched a little bit higher, not as much as the data may suggest, maybe about one degree or so, but it was a slightly higher launching, slightly higher spinning golf ball. You can see there is a difference between these golf balls in data, but the main difference for me, if you're looking at it, isn't driver, isn't six iron, it's from 175 yards and in, with that difference in the spin rate. You'll get some slightly increased spin rate across about 100 yards and in or so, get some more green side spin. So if you need that, for everyone X is for you. But if you prefer lower spin and a softer golf ball, I'll well, go for the Pro V. So we've got some differences, but mainly, in that short game, in those mid short irons, you see some differences between the Pro V1 and Pro V1X. That's from data alone. Feel, I do think there's a notable difference. The Pro V1X is a firm-ish golf ball, whereas the Pro V1 is a lovely soft golf ball. Still though, they're both very high performing golf balls. So from here, from about 70 yards or so, they're probably gonna do about the same thing. And the Pro V1X, that's a lovely shot. Pretty much exactly the same, one hop and stop. So yes, they do operate at a very high performance, both of them. You look there, they're both one hop and stops. But in those bits of short game, from 75, 100 yards and in, you're gonna notice some slightly increased spin for the Pro V1X. Us mere mortals, maybe we wouldn't notice at all, but professional golfers, of course they can notice. What we will notice though, people who are 36, 18, is the difference in feel. There is a slight difference in feel here with the Pro V1X being a little bit firmer. What I like about that is that I feel like the Pro V1X, and maybe the Pro V1, has some assets, some features of the AVX, of the left dash. They feel a little bit more explosive this year. Doesn't mean that's necessarily gonna go into more ball speed, but it feels like Titleists have got a few bits and bobs from their very successful other golf balls that aren't at everywhere at retail and put them into these. What I would love though, if I get a two shot penalty for not marking the ball, Pro V1 and the Pro V1X, God, this golf ball's so muddy. If they like somehow blended the Pro V and the Pro V1X together, it would be the best golf ball on the planet, no question. My opinion, but God, that's, that's a big claim. Oh no! That brings us to the end of the video, guys, of the Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X for 2023. Hard to build on a golf ball that has been so successful in years and years, but I think Titleist have done it pretty well by adding some very small improvements to the 2023 iteration. Pro V1X is a particular personal favorite of mine, and it's gonna be a golf ball I put in the bag for 2023. I think it provides a lot of things that a lot of players, amateur and professional alike, would really get used to and make them a better golfer. As I've said already in this video, if you want a softer, lower spinning golf ball, the Pro V1 is for you. If you want a firmer golf ball that offers a bit more green side spin, then go for the Pro V1X. But let me know which one is your personal preference down in the comments below. If you guys are new to Golf Magic, smash that subscribe button. To the next video, guys, I will catch you later.